Welcome to Daily Love TV. I'm Mastin Kip, founder of thedailylove.com. And I get a question all the time, which is this. How do I let go of what other people think, right? We can get so lost in needing the approval of other people, well-intended people, maybe it's friends or family or a loved one or significant other, and we can get so caught in needing their approval that it cripples our dreams, it cripples our drive, it cripples our passion or our purpose. So how do we let go of that? Well, a couple things. First of all, think about this for a second. Think about, you know, not just now, but next week, next month, six months, a year, five, 10 years from now, what would the long-term cost be of not approving of yourself if you let other people run your life, right? Think about that for a second. Imagine next week, next month, next year, five years from now, 10 years from now, what would life be like if you let other people run your life, whoever that person is, even if they're well-intended, would you be living your passion? Would you be living your purpose? Would you really fully be living an alive, beautiful life, a life that's designed by you? The answer is obviously no. But here's the thing. We can be so scared of disappointing other people or so uncertain that our ability to make choices to believe in ourselves is worthy that we can outsource our power to other people and let them decide. So what we want to start to do is bring our power back and realize that for us to live a full life, for us to fully be ourselves, to connect back to who we really are, it's very important that we trust ourselves. And it can be scary to trust ourselves, especially if we've let other people make decisions for us. But ultimately, what we have to learn how to do is go within and take internal directed action. And that's a very powerful process. So here's how you start to do it, okay? First of all, this is not some morbid, scary thing, but just pretend for a second that all the people that you care about are either gone, dead, or not around, right? Don't get all emotional or sad like, oh, mom and dad. Don't, don't go there for a second, but just pretend that no one in your life that you love is here, right? It's just you and I, okay? What would you want to do next with your life, right? If it didn't matter what other people think, right? What would you do with your life? What would you do creatively? What would you do in business or in a job? What would you want to do with your body or your spiritual practice? What are your dreams? What are your hopes? What are your aspirations? Like get really clear on that, right? Maybe write it down, you know, put it, write it down, journal it, whatever it might be. If no one else was around and it was just me and Mastin, right? What would I want for my life? And get really clear on that and think, well, gosh, I'd want this. I'd want that. I'd want to travel maybe. I'd want to have a spiritual practice, go deeper. I'd want to eat this way or I'd want this type of business, this type of relationship. I want this much time for myself or whatever it might be. Get clear on that and then ask yourself, why am I not doing this now, right? And it might be that you, there are other people in your lives that you want to make happy, but here's the rub. And I get this from parents a lot too. Oh, Mastin, you understand, I'm so busy with the kids, right? But the thing is, you doing what you want to do, you doing what lights you up makes you a better mom and dad. It makes you a better boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, son, daughter, mother, father. It makes you a better person when you're pursuing those things. And what tends to happen, especially in relationships, is we get attracted to people who are living their life fully on purpose, doing what they love, and then we get into a relationship and we change and we start to do things that we think the other person will approve of but in doing so, we lose ourselves, and we no longer are being the person that we attracted our partner in the first place. And a lot of times, you know, when I see, especially in you know, relationships, relationships dissolve, it's because you had two fully functioning people that were attracted to each other that went into a codependent relationship and they were no longer attracted to each other because they were too busy trying to please the other person rather than being, ha you know, being happy on their own. So this is not some selfish thing. It's not selfish to be happy, especially if you're in a relationship or a parent, because when you're happier, you can be better in those relationships. So here's a question for you. If it was just you and I, and it didn't matter about all the other people in your life, just for this exercise, what would you want out of life? What would you want to create? What would you be? What would you do? What would you have? What would that life look like? In the comments below, let me know. I'd love to know. And then... In those comments, let me also know what's your next action step to be there. Because remember, taking this step, moving forward in this direction will make all of your relationships richer. It could restore and save your relationship if you're in a romantic relationship that's sort of falling apart. So really, if it was just you, just you and me, 
What would you do and what would your next action step be? In the comments, let me know. The Daily Love community is a group of seriously loving, caring folks. Hit up thedailylove.com and leave your comment and join in on the conversation and meet and support these amazing people. Also, we publish a rockin' daily email full of inspiration from me and all kinds of amazing experts from around the world. Head on over to thedailylove.com and sign up for our email to get these awesome daily doses of love. Also, if this video has been inspiring, please feel free to share it with family, friends, people that you care about to brighten their day. And also, subscribe to us on YouTube so that you get notified on our next update. As always here at Daily Love TV, take action and make it real. I'll see you next time.